A victory for anti-government protesters as police abandon their posts to join the demonstrations. Just days ago, the groups clashed. Now they stand side by side. The rebellion poses a new threat to Evo Morales, South America's longest standing leader. Under the framework of democracy and the law, the armed forces guarantee union among our countrymen. Therefore, we confirm that we will never confront the people to whom we have a duty, and we will always ensure peace, coexistence, and the development of our homeland. Bolivia's ruling party responded by calling on supporters to defend the results of the contested election. Morales is rejecting calls for his resignation, insisting the vote was fair. I want to denounce to the Bolivian people and the whole world that a coup d'etat is underway. As you know, brother journalists, a coup d'etat against a democratically elected government with more than 60 percent of the vote in the last elections. A coup d'etat by violent, anti-democratic groups that don't respect democracy, the election results or social peace. Morales also blamed organized opposition groups for setting fire to the homes of his sister and two governors. This after protesters occupied two state-run media outlets on Saturday. An electoral audit by the Organization of American States is underway, but the opposition has already said it will not accept the results.